I'm Virginia McGathy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting on the livestock market today. Cattle was higher. Those cash prices really drove those futures up. It seems that the market technicals are also signaling uh, additional strength to the market. We're above that 100-day moving average. Uh, that's giving uh, people a real look at the market. Uh, this winter weather is also helping to offer some support. The feeders were firm and they were, you know, their optimism, uh, you know, ahead is really giving the markets a boost. Now let's go back to this weather issue. Uh, certainly, uh, uh, this the winter weather again after we had the cold snap a few weeks ago uh, we recognize now that the production is going to slow down uh, that's definitely going to give the markets a little more of a boost and I think that we're going we're gonna to see that uh, this is a time where normally beef prices are really could be a little bit more on the rise and with a little bit of the trouble that we have from the uh, winter weather that's going to give the market even uh, more of a boost. Interestingly enough with this government shutdown it seems that the uh, livestock market is the one that's affected the most because uh, the USDA uh, price reports that come out for livestock meats and dairies are used by the CME to uh, settle their uh, futures contracts uh, with the, the CFTC net losing like 95 percent of it's uh, em employee uh, employees for this day at least uh, makes it difficult and we're expecting that there possibly could be some delays in the reports certainly the cold storage report the cattle on feed report so there will be somewhat of a delay it, everything will catch back up but watch for that and that might be part of what's really giving the market a little bit of a lift now let's go to hogs right now hogs are steady uh, the futures really are consolidating in the slow trade day today it just seems like the the traders were bracing for a uh, possible uh, decline in some of the prices. The market has been relatively strong and it's still holding its strength. They really expected a decline early this week, but now that this government shutdown came in, it really has a lot of the traders uh, on the sidelines really trying to uh, watch what's going to happen right now. So all bets are off. When the government comes back up, then we can see uh, a, a more of a, a steady flow of information coming back out and we can get back to uh, trading uh, normally. That's all from the floor at the CME Group. I'm Virginia McGathy.